Hi everyone, we are going to be looking at some videos by a channel called Erika R. It's a girl who's 22 years old and um, she seems very depressed and lost. Maybe we will find out why. I guess I should introduce myself. I'm Erika, I'm 22 and I'm a loser. No, I'm kidding, but not really. <laughs> I'm making this channel because what I said in the description is true. I'm completely lost in life. I have no idea what I want to do with my life. And I've been feeling really... That's messed up because at the age of 22, you should already naturally have a few children. That's how it always used to be. Up until a few decades ago, life always used to be the same for everybody on Earth up until a few decades ago, which is very crazy when you think about it. But of course, in your early 20s, you would have a family already and you would really have a purpose. You would know exactly what to do. I hope it's about it. Um, I have no career plans. I have no... That's good. Uh, a career doesn't even exist. It's in your head. Jobs are slavery. It's all meaningless. Don't worry about that. Career prospects or life prospects, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I don't even have any friends, so... Yes, of course, being alone is going to mess you up. But again, it shouldn't be like that naturally. If putting this out there, if anybody watches it, helps one other person, then I think it's worth it. I think it's a success. I'll handle the embarrassment. <laughs> this channel is a safe space for people who have no life. This is not going to be lifestyle vlogs. Look how much better my life is than yours. No, I have no life. My life is terrible. If I... I don't think that it helps anybody to see other people who are terrible. You can say misery loves company. You can say that you like seeing uh, that other people are also not doing well, but it doesn't help anybody, obviously. Nobody wants to actually feel like this. If I was to do that, it would be fraudulent. <laughs> it would not be real. <laughs> I've gotten to a point where I can't watch people do anything. I can't even watch like a TV show with people my age in it because I feel like everyone's doing so much more than me, so much better than me. That brings us to the point of this channel. I really have no passions. Finding motivation for things can be really hard. I thought that- It's the very definition of depression. Together, we could try new things, try to find something that could be a passion or a career path. And I would, thought I would share my journey doing that in case Maybe it will help someone out there. I don't know. We can she probably didn't expect this video to get half a million views almost. Learn things together. The reason why we're in the kitchen or sort of in it. So I thought the first thing we could try is baking or cooking. It's something I have an interest in and I do it at home and I thought we could try. And that's exactly your problem. I'm going to talk about that in a second. Now we are going to check out the video which she posted shortly afterwards. It's called A Depressed baking video every single time i turn on the camera to try to make one of these videos i like oscillate between like this is so hopeless like why am i trying like, i can't even get up and do it or like a burst of confidence where i'm like this will work i can do this this will go somewhere and i've been like <laughs> oh man there's probably all of these people probably mostly women watching her who can relate to her and they don't realize that it's all because of their diet it's just a diet. That's it. I've been in both of those moods today. More the former. But I, I just thought I would turn on the camera and try to do this. And maybe it'll make me feel a little bit better. So I don't know. <laughs> it will make you feel worse. Not the filming itself, but the baking, the so-called food. So anyway, today I thought we'd make blueberry muffins from this book. Absolutely horrible. The reason you feel this way is because of your biochemical state. And your biochemical state is regulated by your gut. Blueberry muffins destroy your gut. The blueberry muffins are literally the reason why you will feel even worse later on in the day. That's as simple as it is. But unfortunately, it's not simple for most people. People don't understand this. 
the pesticides and herbicides on the blueberries are going to destroy your gut microbiome. There's tons of antibiotics on berries nowadays. 99% of blueberries on earth, except if you get them from the forest, are poisonous for your gut. Then you have all of the grains, uh, whatever ingredients you will use, which are seeds. Seeds are naturally toxic and antibiotic-like for your gut. But on top of that, again, there's pesticides and herbicides, glyphosate, which makes you infertile. Besides all of this, it also causes malnutrition because plants in general don't have over 15 micronutrients. And even if you add some eggs to it, you're not going to get any nutrients out of them because you will cook them. Cooked food doesn't really have many micronutrients at all. The less you cook it, the more they will have. But something that is baked has no micronutrients, only cooked sugar. Carbohydrates are sugar. So you're going to be eating gut-destroying sugar. That's it. It's very, very unhealthy. Women and men today don't realize that the food that they eat regulates the way they feel, their biochemical state, their hormones. That's it. You could literally start eating naturally today. And in a few days, you would already feel completely different. <laughs> you would be making videos like this. Actually, in a few weeks, you would feel euphoric. You wouldn't even understand how you could have possibly been tricked to eat this kind of garbage, which was created for slaves. Seed sludge, which is all of this. Bread, cookies, muffins, it's all seed sludge. It's all created for slaves. You would then realize what happened to you. But when you're in this fog the mental state then you cannot snap out of it you're stuck in it and it's so hard to get people out of it sorry if this is a boring video but it's not my best day <laughs> as you can see she's simply trying. Um, gonna keep trying. mixing up um, seed sludge powder with water eggs whatever it's the definition of slave food it has to make you depressed. It just has to. There isn't even a way around it. People nowadays get told that depression is caused by something else, something external. It's your family, friends bringing you down. It's school. It's just your mental state. Get into a religion. Uh, open up your chakras. They will talk about anything except for diet, when it's only the diet, except if you're on drugs also. That can also, of course, make you depressed because it changes you biochemically. But 99% uh, of people out there who are depressed could fix it within days, most definitely within weeks, by simply eating natural food. Start eating what humans eat in nature. Eat raw meat, organs, start drinking blood, and you're going to be the opposite of depressed. I can guarantee you that. It's, it's just so simple. Everybody who eats naturally knows this. It's just that simple. It's just so hard for people to get it. And she's going to be eating this grain sludge, destroying her gut even more, and talking like this, not realizing that that's what's causing it. And that's how bad our society is. There's just no passion also while she's doing it, because she knows that it's seed sludge that it's for slaves. Whereas if there was a cup of blood, she would drink it, she would feel so energized, she would biochemically right away feel it. Wow. She would be just waking up, her senses would literally lighten up and wake up, and she would be looking at reality in a whole different way. And she would know, wow. Oh, wow, I was brainwashed my whole life. <laughs> like preachy. Seems very dry to me. Did I miss something? I don't know. Look, it looks... Dry food is horrible food. Natural food is juicy. It's very, like... Not great. Muffin batter is supposed to be, like, thin, right? I'm... And I just see all of these people everywhere so malnourished and depressed. And it's just so easy to fix it. She has a lot of videos like this. There's another one where she's making bread. We're eyeballing here. I I'm not weighing these. I refuse to believe that I have to be really good at something to make it work. I can make baking videos, right? And you literally touch this slimy seed sludge 
and you just don't realize what you're doing. People just don't get it. They touch it. They make bread, pizza, cookies. They have this slime, which is grain sludge mixed with sugar and drugs. And they just don't get it. Okay, in this case, maybe there are no drugs, but uh, what they sell you in um, any store, really, any pastry shop, um, it's actually full of actual real drugs. There's also hydrogenated soybean oil in bread nowadays and pretty much any of the seed sludge that you can buy. It's actually poison by definition. It's very like fluffy. Is it yeah, because it's not food. <laughs> That's why it's fluffy. It's supposed to be like that. Like it's not really. It's not supposed to be anything. You're not supposed to be holding ground up seeds where you add water and whatever garbage. Don't you get it? There's no such thing in nature. It destroys your gut. It glues up the intestines because every grain has gluten, not only wheat, which is what they want to tell you. And um, then you won't be able to absorb any of the nutrients anymore from the real food that you do eat. I hope that she eats some kind of meat at least, or eggs or whatever, dairy. Once you destroy your gut microbiome, you will also have a fungal overgrowth. This almost always happens. There's yeast also, of course, in all of the seed sludge nowadays. And then, of course, you will have a gut which cannot possibly make you happy anymore. It's not even possible. You cannot eat grains, grain products, any kind of seeds, and expect to be happy. That just doesn't work biologically. So it's done. I. <laughs> it looks great. I thought we could take it out. It's been cooling for a little bit. I mean... <laughs> If that's not a success... It just looks like baked seed sludge now. That's it. It's just slime which was baked, which is why it's more firm and brown now. <laughs> you just baked ground up seeds into this form. That's it. And because you grew up as a slave, like most of us do today, you believe that this is food, even though it's anti-food. You're literally holding and looking at anti-food. And you don't get it. And you don't get that this is the reason you're depressed. It's just that simple. This is the reason she's depressed. Literally. I don't know what is. Here, let's cut it open. I'm going to have to use a butter knife. <laughs> I'll cut it down one of the splits. I mean, that looks really good, does it not? <laughs> let's try it. Mm. Man, I wish I was there. I would just go to the bread. That's not food, okay? Firstly, that's what I would tell her. <laughs> then I would... Uh... <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously, but I would actually, though, destroy the bread for real. I would uh, tear it apart. And uh, I would throw it in the bin. Not even in the bin, because you can smell it still. It smells so terrible. I would throw it out, I would uh, bury it or something, I would hide it because I don't even want any animals, any insects or anybody to eat that poison. Then I would uh, take her to some farm, slaughter an animal, give her blood, wake her up to the reality of nature, get super good quality organs, liver, and just heal her. Yeah, that's what you need to do. Looks really good. We've already learned something. Definitely a success. What is good about it? The seeds taste like death. The worst taste on earth. If you mean some kind of sugar or whatever you added to it, uh, then I could believe you for sure. But uh, otherwise, it's absolute garbage. These are the videos on her channel. This was the first one which we watched. Uh, the baking videos. She wants uh, friends, of course, because nobody wants to be alone. More baking, cakes, the reason of her depression. Uh, Gluten-free, as I said, there is no such thing. Um, oh, and this is just so bad. Uh, then she makes cookies. Uh, she serves also. Serving isn't that bad, but it is still kind of stressful for the body. It could be worse, though. 
that's for sure not the reason why she's depressed, obviously. It's her diet. Mm. Fish? Maybe she ate some fish? Uh. We're gonna check out this video also about what she eats besides all the baked garbage. Why don't you have social media? YouTube is social media, but she probably means Instagram, Facebook and whatever. Maybe it's slightly different, I guess you could say, kind of. Uh, you can't really message people on YouTube and stuff like that, uh, but overall it's the same. And then she also has a video about her dog, which goes to the beach. Uh, again, obviously a pet, any kind of pet, but a dog, especially or a cat, is a replacement for children. She feels alone, she doesn't have a family, which she naturally should at her age already. As I said, she should have a few children at least. Um, obviously, that makes you feel even way worse. The diet is what's making her depressed, don't get me wrong, but uh, not having a family at this age is also going to mess you up uh, very badly. Diet and family is incredibly important. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> How great does this look? The fact that I wanted to make dinner for my I just want to see what she eats besides all the garbage. That's okay. That, that's... They think they're for like spoons? Alright, she uses cheese, a lemon, Any tips for garlic, it's an antibiotic, it destroys your gut, makes you depressed. Do like a... Really terrible idea. I did not like it at all. She needs to avoid all antibiotics completely. Water. Oh, I have this like. Turn that down. Now I have to start. I think that she's making noodles, and she also has some kind of cheese sauce. Cheese, a little bit of time. Bad pepper. I'm gonna say this. Yep, exactly. Again, uh, seed sludge. Again, slave food. It's all for slaves. Bread, noodles, cookies. Only for slaves. Nobody who has any money, except for very dumb people, as we could see with the billionaire, eats any kind of seed products. It was only made to give the slaves sugar. That's what carbohydrates are. It's just to give you a bunch of sugar full of toxins and anti-nutrients. It's just to make you sick. Nobody who is wealthy or intelligent eats that. Nobody on earth. They all eat organs, wild-caught fish, lobster, whatever. That's what they eat. Come on, man. That's the finished product. That was... And I get it if she doesn't have money for very good food. I get it. But uh, organs are not even expensive today. It's not an excuse really for anybody to be eating this. Fine. <laughs> really good. It's not grainy or anything. Mm. Grainy. But look at what you're eating. You're eating seed sludge and you put that in your mouth. <laughs> it's slavery. You're literally looking at slavery. This is what people used to eat when there was famine. When they tried to make food out of non-food items, out of seeds. They ground up the seeds, added some water and whatever they could find to it. It's the same with pizza. And then they tried to make it taste like food by adding salts. They wanted the sodium because uh, animal products have sodium. They try to make it into food even though it's not food. That's literally it. This is not food, but you're trying to make it into food by adding cheese to it. So horrible. Such a misled generation that we have now. Now we are going to look at one of her latest videos, how she's doing right now. Obviously, it's been two months. Nothing much would change. <laughs> Nothing can change with her diet. I'm not having a good day. That's a bit of an understatement. I'm just feeling like everything feels pointless. I've just been feeling... This feeling comes from your gut. So tired all the time. Again, only diet. And exercise really isn't even helping. I mean... Oh my god. Oh, it's way worse even. She actually believes that exercise gives you energy. Exercise is exertive to the body. It's extreme stress. It can only 
rob you from your energy. It always takes away energy. You need to use energy to exercise. If you eat such a terrible diet and you also exercise, you're going to be like this. This is literally the definition of what you should expect. If you eat a grain-based diet and you exercise, you will always end up like this. It cannot even be different. In I mean, usually it does, but I've been feeling worse afterwards for some reason. I've been thinking so much about what am I doing? What am I here for? And I don't mean these videos. I don't mean YouTube. I mean, what am I here to do? Yes, um, she is basically stuck in hell. It's hell on earth. It's when you're doing everything wrong. It's when you go against nature. It's when you're being satanic that's what i would call it obviously i don't mean uh, satanism as in the way christians define it uh, whatever i'm not talking about a religion really i just use the word for fun what i mean by that is that when you completely go against nature then um, you go to hell because uh, you can biochemically be in hell i have a whole video about this and um then you will, of course, feel like there's no meaning to life, there's no purpose, because literally that's how you feel. It's understandable. And if you eat like this and you live like this, then that's exactly what you should expect. I, I can't come up with anything. I can't come up with a reason that I'm good for anything. I really just feel like a useless person, to be honest. Yeah, it's literally just your biochemical state, which is very easy to fix. Um... It's not, and it's not about trying something new and being bad at it. Because I don't expect to be good at things first try. And I don't expect anything to be easy. But the lack of action, I feel, is not normal right now. I feel like starting this gave me hope. And now I'm circling back to that same beginning feeling of everything is spoilers. Everything I do feels like it has no point. This girl should check out that girl that I reviewed. The best what I eat in a day video I ever reviewed. That's what I call the video the asian girl who lives in the us who eats raw meat think about how different she was she feels really content with life she actually radiates um, happiness you only see this in raw meat eaters you don't see it in any other people maybe slightly in people who eat an animal-based diet sure but this actual true happiness i have only ever seen in raw meat eaters how could you possibly feel happy if you don't eat naturally it's not even possible because every animal has to eat the natural food the animal is supposed to eat if you don't even if you eat only organs and meat whatever but if you cook it how could you possibly feel the way a natural human being does or at least a human being who eats natural food it's not possible because that would just go against this reality nature it cannot even be the only way you can feel the way you're actually really supposed to feel is only by eating raw meat. There cannot possibly be a way around it, <laughs> right? This is just impossible. That's why it's only them. And the, the girl really exactly gave me this feeling the way I feel. I just know it. When you see it, you know it. And if you eat the same way, you know it. You just see it. You, you don't even need to say anything. You just have this look. You just know. You just literally know, you know? <laughs> I, I'm thinking, what is the point of getting better at anything? I'm having such a hard time just going after anything. And I always... Man, watching this kind of a video, if you eat the way she does, it's probably going to make you feel even worse. I just wonder how she believes this is going to help people. Just go on and on about being alone. But it is such a big factor because I feel like if I had even one person to tell me, go and do it, go and try it. Even as just like an iota of encouragement. That's me. Yeah. Encouragement. I could maybe be further, but doing that for yourself is so hard. I think that she's talking about somebody encouraging her to exercise or whatever, something uh, pointless or destructive. Why even try? And that's not, that's not even a big picture thing. That's not even, that's not even like the path in the career I keep talking about. It's little everyday things. Like I keep bringing up exercise and how I need to do that, but I can't. The last thing that you should do right now is exercise. Exercise only exerts you. It stresses you. That's exactly what you don't need right now. Don't push yourself to do anything that you don't want to do. That's really crucial. Keep to it. 
I can't keep consistent with it because I think I won't get anywhere. And I'm like, well... You can't get anywhere. Exercise is only there to stress you. There's no benefits whatsoever. There's not one benefit of exercising. And uh, it will also produce endorphins afterwards when you stop because your body is so relieved, which is going to make you even more depressed. <laughs> because I've been exercising for years and I don't get anywhere. Oh my God, she's been doing it for years. That makes it even way worse. It's a seed-based diet of somebody who also exercised for years. It's literally the so-called opposite of what you should be doing as a woman or as a man even. Because I keep being so flaky with it and then I have a million other problems that lead to not any progress. I guess I don't believe I'll get any better at it or I guess it doesn't matter to be better at it, but that's besides the point. Fixing her problems would be very simple and easy. She needs to start eating naturally, as I explained already. This way she will heal her gut slowly but surely and also fix the micronutrient deficiencies, uh, which I'm sure there's a lot of. Then she needs to also stop exercising completely. Oh, she's been doing it for years. That's really bad. Uh, you can also see that her body fat is a bit too low, which is a clear indication of uh, overexercising. It's when your body can't even keep up a normal body weight. But of course, that's also her diet, obviously. Exercise only creates stress in the body. It only exerts you and you are already very tired. Uh, it's very counterintuitive what you're doing in general to yourself. And then, of course, um, afterwards, she would need to find somebody to create a family because, as I said, she should already have a few children at her age. She should have uh, children running around her. That alone cannot make you happy. It makes you happy, but uh, you cannot be happy by only eating raw meat and having no family. Although it's the most important part, but still, you need to have people around you. There's no way around it. But you also cannot be happy by only having a family and eating garbage. You just generally have to live as naturally as possible, which means, especially for a woman, no exercise. You can argue for a man in the sense that they go hunting, but they don't exert themselves for no reason. There's actually a necessity to hunting, and hunting is mostly about lurking, waiting for the right moment, having so-called patience, and then throwing. Humans are throwers. That's how we hunt. Uh, we don't uh, run after an animal because we are too slow. We don't uh, lift up metal for no reason, which is what people do at the gym. I only say this because somehow these guys try to connect it to hunting. There's always these guys who say, I go to the gym because that's what we would do in nature somehow, which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Yes, people are very delusional today. If you would do all of this, live as naturally as possible, this kind of depression would go away, actually within weeks already, depending on how severe the damage is. I don't know, obviously, how severely her gut is damaged, but uh, within a few months, pretty much guaranteed, uh, you will feel 50 to 70% better within months. I that much better. It will be so noticeable. Her videos would seem uh, as if it's a new human being in the video. And that's how it actually is. A lot of people argue about this topic, if you can actually change as a human being. They don't mean the physical appearance, that's a different topic. But what they mean is the way you act and behave. And of course, you do change, you will feel like a completely different human being if you actually change your gut health. If your gut is unhealthy, then you will have no energy, you will be unbearable to be around, miserable, depressed, uh, you will have no motivation to do anything. Because um, when your gut is damaged, then your whole body is damaged. And that's exactly what people will sense. And once you heal your gut as much as it's possible, then people will right away notice a drastic change, which is as if you're changing as a human being. Which means that, of course, you can absolutely change. And she can absolutely change and uh, not be this depressed, miserable, such a low-energy human being. 
hopefully she will listen to some of the advice if she will ever see the video. Thanks for watching.